Westport has a mystique and it has a magic. Maybe it's the artists and writers who live here. It's not your typical suburban community in the eyes of the outside world. And I'm deeply grateful to the citizens of Westport who have posed for me. In fact, I counted some of the people in my many covers, and I think I got up to about 789 individual people. That doesn't count the dogs, chickens, and horses that I've used, too. I don't think you could have an arts council such as ours is in all places. Uh, we now have an office in Town Hall, and it has become a very active organization with over 1,500 members. Our halls are, are full of art, much of it by Westport artists. We have the Westport Community Theater, and these are things that make it an exciting place to be. Westport, a really beautiful art center. It is a place where we have uh, painters, sculptors, photographers. Uh, it is for all the artists in town. The Theater Artist Workshop is a place uh, in which actors and uh, playwrights particularly can uh, try out new things. It's where we can work alone without fear of the public seeing us yes. if we're not good enough. Yeah, we established that that's the uh, outside. outside. Okay. So you go out there and you're, you're upstairs. I'm just going to sit up here. Billy will know there's something wrong if he sees you dressed like that. Is Billy here? You never dressed up on the weekend, not when Billy... Tonight, One for the Tango opens at the Westport Country Playhouse, starring Leslie and... Well, the Playhouse building is an old tanning factory. They did tremendous things throughout the years, and uh, it has made, in my judgment, a tremendous contribution to theater as a whole. But in Westport, it became almost a national institution. Human touch, there's a frailty, there's a vulnerability mm -hmm. in, the, in the character and in the play.